Ukraine. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Ambassador. Yesterday from a Russian prison was released uh, Ukrainian pilot Nadia Savchenko, uh, which was kept there for almost two years. Uh, how will you comment on this? And will the U.S. seek uh, release from prison the rest of the Ukrainian citizens, which Russia holds illegally? Thanks. Thank you. I mean, I think after a very um, difficult few years in Ukraine, uh, yesterday's arrival of Nadia Savchenko back to uh, her home and to her mother and her family, uh, those were happy images. That was a happy day. Um, and I can only imagine what she has gone through um, being subjected for 708 days uh, to a farcical set of le legal proceedings, um, extremely difficult prison conditions. We've all seen her physical uh, state deteriorate over the months uh, that she has been imprisoned and um, I express my thanks to all countries that um, championed her cause and joined Ukraine in trying to right this uh, horrific injustice, bizarre uh, sort of Soviet style um, maneuver you know to kidnap somebody on the on the territory of a sovereign country and then ship them back and uh, again the whole uh, process was farcical we yesterday did use the occasion to highlight the fates of other uh, Ukrainians who have been similarly unjustly detained and who may be less well known we will continue to do so as you know part of the Minsk agreements uh, are provisions that involve the return of all detainees. And so we are um, actively pushing for the full implementation of the Minsk agreements for the release of those detainees um, that should never have been abducted in the first place. Um, and of course, uh, the full implementation will mean the return uh, of the Ukrainian border to Ukraine's uh, sovereign control. We, uh, as the Obama administration, we are aware, of course, that um, we will uh, be um, handing over to other political leadership here in the, in the United States in January of next year. And thus, for us, this issue of Minsk implementation becomes ever more urgent uh, because we, again, stand in support of Ukraine and really uh, want to use the time that we have uh, to try to use whatever leverage we have uh, to bring about that implementation, not least so that all those others who have been unjustly detained will be reunited with their families like Nadia was yesterday. What is the impact on the Thanks. Thanks. 